Well, well, well. Let us see what is the next best thing that Blender has to offer us. With that being said, and then let me go to File, go to New, and go to Sculpting, and we are going to see all these blue brushes. Before starting, one of the most wonderful thing that Blender developers have done is that it has created tools, lots of tools for sculpting. So to see all the tools, you can either use the scroll wheel, scroll wheel. You can use middle click, middle click over this tool and click and drag over this option or you can click on this bar and see all the other tools or you can click and drag to see more brushes or or you can click and drag to see the names of the brushes and what you can do is click and drag it over to the left side to completely remove it out of the frame to bring it back you can use this small arrow over here or you can also use T keyboard on your keyboard T key on your keyboard so the first brush is draw if I click and drag this is the thing that is taking place it is protruding outside if I use draw sharp it will be protruding it inside now one of the wonderful things one more wonderful thing which is there in blender is this tools option activate tools it shows what the tool is actually going to do and uh, along with different brushes you get your radius which i have covered in the previous video strength which i have uh, covered in the previous video direction also we have covered and some of these options which are need to be covered will will be covering in a future video so what i am going to what i want to try to say is that when you try to change the brushes there are some extra options that you can access in different brushes so make sure that you change it and see what those values do for you and if i click and drag over here we are getting a clay strip like uh, clay build up something like this and then we have got clay strips if i click and drag we are getting this clay strips clay thumb it behaves like you are using your thumb to move the clay like if i click and drag it acts as if we are changing the uh, volume with the help of our thumb clay thumb and then we have got layer if i click and drag you can put lots of layers over this object and this is how something this works inflate what does inflate means is if you take a balloon and fill it with the air you are inflating the balloon in the same manner you can inflate something over here if i am clicking and dragging and circling around here it will inflate the object blob blob creates something like this shapes something like this and if i click and drag over here click and drag over here click and drag over here this is a very strong bulging brush it bulges very harshly whereas inflate bulges it smoothly then we have got crease and what crease does is it actually creases the corners to get sharp edges and in the tools option over here tools option active tools you can increase the pinch option if you increase the pinch the option will be taking a bigger value and if you reduce the pinch it will take lower values so i will put this to default value so that's it for this guys if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button and make sure that you leave a comment down there and if you want to financially support me you can do that using google pay phone pay paytm on the number 8600647757 or you can go on the patreon's page which is given in the description as well and if you want you can support me by watching the ads which are 
on this video completely so that the revenue which is generated will be going to the research of blender so with that being said and then try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video Amen.